Hi, it's Nicola at Forever Young Autobiographies and welcome. Today we're talking about book covers, how to create a memorable book cover design. And stay with me, if you are writing a life story book, I have a free gift for you and I'll go into more about that at the end. If this is the first time you've come across Forever Young Autobiographies, welcome. It's the place where we learn to write life stories for family and friends so that unique memories can live on. I'd love for you to follow, subscribe and like the show. Now book covers. A funny thing is that when a newspaper is put to the press, it is often the front page that is the last page that is sent. And this is really interesting because usually it can be for breaking news. They leave that page open in, some, in case something happens that needs to get in. But as some of you know, I've mentioned before, I've worked in newspapers and I've probably worked on thousands of front pages. And I know that the real reason or one of the key reasons is that front pages are so important. They are the shop window to the rest of the paper. And the same can be said for your book cover, whether you're, you're working on an autobiography, a memoir, biography or other life story project, you want to create a really intriguing and interesting front cover so that your readers will turn the page and keep going. So I have uh, three steps for you today on how to create a book cover layout and design. Now, where should we start? The first place I suggest starting is the photo. We are all visual creatures and photos are a really good entryway into your book. So have a look through all your photo albums for a image a vertical portrait is a great start. Something that captures the theme and mood of your book. That's a really great place to start. You'll probably have too many options, but narrowing it down to one is essential. So once you've got that, um, have a look and make sure that it has some, it has, doesn't have too busy a background, that there's some sort of white space to play with. It's not essential, but it is good to keep this in mind when you are planning your cover photo. And you can go online and, and visit the library for other ideas about what people put out for their books. That's really great to sort of get those creative juices uh, turning over. So once you've selected your photo, the next thing is the writing or basically the titles. Now, coming up with headlines and titles is so much fun. Like I find it the funnest thing about working in a newspaper. And the same can be for your book. Make sure it's fun. It should tell the story or hint at the story. And it should only be short. Short is better. Err on the shorter side. So one, two, three, four words. Perfect. You know, that's a really great starting point. And you'll notice on most books you have your title and then your second, like your kicker or subhead, which explains the title a little bit more. And these, the title can be in capped letters to get the attention and it's usually quite large so it can be read at a distance and then your subhead is usually about half the font size. I mean this is a general rule but half the font size and it will back up and explain the title. So that's kind of what you're looking for and you need to sort of place that around your image. So if, you, if you've got a vertical you might have the words to one side of that on top of that image or if you've got a horizontal picture you might be able to overlay it somehow or just put it above or below. You'll need to have a bit of a play and see what works. Uh, I like to use canva.com c-a-n-v-a.com that's a really good design tool and they have book templates on there for free so it's worth looking having a look over there and seeing what takes your fancy. So once we've got our photo and our sort of our titles layout sorted, what do we do now? Well, we need to refine, refine everything. Final stage, okay? Now, you've probably got a perfect cover. You may love it or you may absolutely hate it. It usually swings in extremes. But the golden rule is usually less is more. Make it simple um, so it's well balanced. And then pass it around to supportive friends who are going to give you some constructive feedback. So friends and family. They're going to say what they like, what they don't like about it, and hopefully give you some suggestions on what to change or some ideas for additions. So this is a really important uh, step. Make sure you get some feedback. So 
So that's pretty much what a print editor can tell you about design and layout for your front cover. So I'll just quickly recap. We had one, choose your photo, two, sort out your titles and your layout, and three, make sure you revise and refine it. And I'd love that for all of these key information to really be taken on board so that you can create a really memorable and intriguing book cover without stressing. That's the aim. We don't want you to stress over this. It should be something, the icing on the cake of your finished book. Now I've got heaps more information on this topic over at my website, foreveryoungautobiographies.com and forward slash memorable cover, you will find all the details about the points I've just mentioned. And while you're there, let me know, have you got a memorable cover that springs to mind that you you know, is one that I should take a look at. Let me know, or if you're working on a cover and you're not sure, I'd love to have a look. So send it my way. All the details are over on my website, foreveryoungautobiographies.com. Now, earlier I mentioned this free gift. You can find that over there as well. You can sign up completely free. It's the Structure Success Training, which is where I, it's a short video. I sit down with you and we brainstorm some key memories to go into your book. And then we figure out a basic chapter outline so you're all ready to get started. So please sign up for that one. It's completely free and really helpful. Now, I'd be back soon with another topic to help you with your writing. So until then, please follow, like and subscribe. And until then, happy writing.